Hello everyone, I am Shruti Vijayargi from BISP Solution. In this video, I am going to explain you about the gamma distribution in Excel. So, in probability theory and statistics, the gamma distribution is a two-parameter family of continuous probability distributions. The common exponential distribution and child squared distribution are special cases of the gamma distribution. The gamma distribution has probability density function is given by this formula. Mm. So there in Excel there is different that is different. Um, Excel provides us a function gamma dis to calculate gamma distribution and we can use this function to study variables that may have a skewed distribution. The gamma distribution is commonly used in queuing analysis. So this function does take the four arguments. The first one is the x, which is the value at which you want to evaluate the distribution. The second argument is the alpha, which is the parameter of the distribution. Third argument is the beta, which is also a parameter to the distribution. And also notice that if beta equals to 1, then gamma dist returns the standard gamma distribution. The next and the last argument is the cumulative and it is a logical value that determines the form of the function. If cumulative is true, then it returns the cumulative distribution. And if this value is false, then it returns the probability density function. This function does have uh, four possibilities. These are if we have given any value uh, a, then we simply calculate gamma dist uh, gamma distribution using the gamma dist function, and this we pass the cumulative value false. And if we have given uh, a value a which is less than the variable x, or x is less equals to a, then at that time the cumulative value will be true. If the value of x lies between a and b, then gamma dis or gamma distribution is calculated like gamma dis b alpha beta 2 minus gamma dis a alpha beta 2. And if the value of x is greater equals to b, then we have to calculate gamma distribution by subtracting it from 1. 1 minus gamma dist b alpha beta and 2. So I am going to explain you with the help of any simple example. This chart shows the probability density function for the gamma distribution with the parameter alpha 3 and beta 2. So if you want to calculate the probability uh, this density function value at the value x equals to 6 we can use uh, the gamma this function of excel for this we just have to select the cell type an equal sign select the function gamma dist and passes the references of the arguments the first one is the x which is here is 6 then alpha value which is here is 3 and then beta and then because we are calculating probability density function, so we have to pass false value for cumulative and then enter. So the probability density function value will be 0 0.112021. And now for cumulative distribution function, this chart shows the cumulative uh, gamma distribution with the parameter alpha 3 and beta 2. So if you want to calculate the value of this function at the value x equals to 6, we can use the uh, gamma dis function of Excel. For calculation of cumulative distribution function, just select the cell, type in equal sign, select the function gamma dis, and then pass the references of the argument. The first one is the x, which is value here 6, and then alpha, and then beta. And because we are calculating cumulative distribution, so the last argument will be true. And then enter. So the result is 0 0.57681. So this is how simply gamma dis function is used in Excel. I have just given overview of gamma dis function in Excel. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Thanks for watching.